Hey guys, so in this tutorial I will be showing you how to draw a simple cute little cow on a field. This has been inspired by another painting, another cartoon that I've seen online. So, and at the same time, I'm gonna you know run through a little bit of the things that has been changed in Taya Swiss Sketches Pro app. This is the pro version, so some of the things that I use may not be available in the free version for example this particular tool where you can actually draw a straight line see this this is only available in pro rotation of the drawing you see it's not really that smooth also there are some things that i noticed that are a bit problematic previously tire sweet sketches pro app allows you to exit this canvas mode by just pinching you know just pinch and then it will go back to the main menu but this time around there is a very convenient tool a, a button here where you can actually close tap on it and then you go back to the main menu which is i think it's it's a much better way to do it rather than the pinching method this is good so we have the zen mode which is nice where you can actually have a very small you user interface here where you can actually collate all the options that you need basic options like this opacity size which is very convenient and as well as the color where you can easily choose right all the colors that you need so convenient I, I like this I like this because in the not in the Zen mode right you have to tap on this Okay, just to get that uh, opacity out oh we come across a problem here where this color panel is open so let's close this and open up the non Zen mode let's see again open up this color panel non Zen mode can we close this panel okay maybe the app developers can do this where you switch the Zen mode off that color panel will immediately go away because we already have this this color uh, UI over here right this color using face here okay the non Zen mode well you know I like it where previously you can actually tap and hold and then you can see the opacity options and the the brush sizes options will come out but now this is a very convenient uh, button over here which is very good right but in this case it's quite um, I would say uh, not so great because I prefer the Zen mode now you see because you can actually easily click on this one and you can access the opacity and the size also when you click on this it's not very easy to to immediately see the opacity and the sizes here because you have to tap on this and then this thing will come out to show you what is the size and all that as compared to the Zen mode where you can actually press on this gear button here and then you immediately you will see the brush size and the opacity right here so good see this rather than this one see opacity and the brush size when you see this the brush size you don't actually see how the, the brush the shape of the brush will uh, appear you just see a dot over there right so in this case I love the Zen mode okay let's begin by opening up the layers panel here make sure you draw on this new layer I mean this given layer not on this base layer this base layer is the paper you can click on this gear button here right and then you can choose what kind of paper that you like to draw on there are so many options here let's use the color too so now we need to change which we're gonna select the color for the ground so let's choose the green color I'm gonna use this paintbrush instead of the watercolor brush which I usually use let's try a different one and this one looks very interesting it looks like an oil painting 
click on the gear button and then increase the size to about maybe this uh, 116 so let's see is it big enough mm, okay I guess so just paint over here okay click on here now let's change the blending mode I want to change the blending mode to this one um, lighten so I'm gonna add another coat another layer see it gets lighter let's have another one I'm gonna add some patterns right now so I'm gonna click here the brush so like this these are the patterns that you can make use of we have the lasso tool where you can actually click and drag a certain area of your drawing and then that pattern will be dropped in there and we have the drawing part ah now we have this particular problem here now take note that we are actually sketching right the pattern should appear here i am not sure why because we use this pattern but it does not appear what appears is actually this which is very strange so i'm going to select this and i'm going to sketch see that pattern does not appear uh, i think there is a bug here so here, let's not use this paint pattern button here this is the paint bucket so we're going to fill see fill it in fill it in fill it in probably going to use a lighter color and we're going to fill it in using the color, lighter color for the bottom part have another layer click on the new layer and let's paint the sky okay click here and select the paint brush again we're going to use this so let's check the size okay the size is the same this time around we're going to use the blue color this layer panel this make sure you click and drag below the ground layer let's paint and then paint over here's another thing that i observe in this new layer shouldn't it be here right so this is what i find very strange anyway when i click here this new layer will be here let's let's test it out see I actually can dry drag it and I can drag it over here so I don't understand why this new layer is over here maybe it's a design choice I'm not sure I'm not very sure but anyway we're gonna draw on this oh so when you click on this layer this layer uh, button will automatically move up why is that I, I'm quite perplexed about this it's a bit weird okay let's continue we're gonna draw the cow now we're just gonna do a quick sketch so select this paintbrush turn it off click the gear and we're gonna use this blending normal so that for every brush stroke that we do the colors does not pass through and doesn't lighten or it doesn't darken we're gonna draw and we're gonna paint an oblong shape here something like this like a rectangle oh take note that i'm going to change the size to about the brush size to about 22. next thing let's draw let's paint the tail like that and then change the color to black and we're going to draw the tail and we're going to draw some spots here over here small ones over there something like this okay we're done next thing that we need to do is to paint the head so change the color back to beige and we draw something like this okay let's change the color first okay you see this we're gonna change it to a darker hue and click the plus sign and then we have this we will paint inside down here tail part back part so now let's paint the ears we can use the same color 
and just paint like that over here and we paint on the other side over here so use your finger tap on this color tap and hold and you can see this color so now we you we're going to use this color just paint over it something like this we have to use our finger tap and hold and select the black color and now we draw the horn of the cow and then we draw the eyes next thing we draw the mouth so for the mouth we need a pink color something like this and we just draw another oval here next we need a darker hue so we just select this and just paint over here like this so this will be like the shadow okay now next thing we need to do is paint the nose choose the black color we need to have a much smaller brush size so let's zoom in the nose over here over here and draw the mouth okay so we have this let's draw the legs for the legs because it's below the body so the color that we're going to be using is this one because below the body there will be some shadows so the legs will also be a bit dark okay select that black color we're going to paint the hooves we're going to add some patterns inside the cow to add some texture i'm just going to use this color i'm going to use a much simpler pattern let's see what else do we have and i think i'm gonna use this pattern here just tap tap on the head again for this one i'm gonna use this color the light beige tap that for this i'm gonna use this dark color tap here for this i'm gonna use the light pink tap here this I'm gonna use the light color and tap Oops. tap here and tap here and tap there and tap here the legs and maybe here yeah that'll be interesting so that's a demo, a run through, a quick run through of the of the new update in Tire Suite Sketches Pro.